Penny Washington is a professor at Georgia State University College of Law. She joins me from Atlanta in Georgia. Welcome to the program on this very important day. Um, how is Georgia looking right now? Well, uh, the fact that Georgia is even still in play is remarkable. Um, and we are still waiting for a number of cities in Georgia and counties in Georgia that are predominantly Democratic leaning to be counted. And there is the possibility that Georgia, given how razor thin the margin is between the two candidates, that Georgia could go for President, uh, Vice President Biden. And you say, you know, why Georgia is in play and, and why is it that this year it has become a crucial battleground state? There's been a lot of ground work done um, by Stacey Abrams and Inse Ufat and other people who created the New Georgia Project and the Fair Fight Project coming out of the gubernatorial race several years ago to make sure that voters are registering, that we get new voters online, and that work is paying off. And early voter turnout has been uh, historic uh, in Georgia, we've seen. How has the Black Lives Matter movement influenced voting this year? Well, I think one of the things that it influenced more so than voting is to put certain issues around policing on the platform for all candidates to speak to, and that's up and down the ballot. And so candidates had to talk about what their position is with respect to protecting black lives, to responding to police abuse of authority, and what they're going to do to make sure that the law works for everyone. All right, we will leave it there. Thank you so much. Tanya Washington, professor at uh, Georgia State University College of Law. Appreciate your time.